Are you a good leader? What is a leader? We all have this idea of what we think a leader is, but do you truly know? See, my name is Joe Mavu, a Master of Life by Design, and today I want to talk to you about the four levels of leadership towards financial freedom and how it can make a huge impact not only in your business, but also in your life. So if you're new to this channel, I want you to know what we're all about. What we're all about here at Master Life by Design is helping people create financial freedom through creating passive income and mindset. So if that's exciting to you, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification button every time a video comes out. All right, before we jump in, I wanna share with you what the job of a leader is. The job of a leader is to influence yourself and others for the greater good. A leader has responsibility to influence others, their thoughts, their feelings, their emotions, behaviors. That's what they wanna influence. They wanna also help someone move from an undesired space to a more desirable state, right? From a place of which where it's impossible to do something and to where they are driven to get something done or to move forward. A place where they might be upset or questioning to a place where they're excited and ready to move forward at an accelerated pace. The first level of leadership is you have to be able to influence yourself for the greater good. So yes, you have to influence you. And I've seen it so many times in my life where I personally have been unmotivated. I didn't want to do something that I knew I needed to do. And honestly, even in this example, or in this video, I didn't want to make this video because guess what? I just broke my wrist yesterday. Poor me snowboarding. All right, went off a box and just cracked it and tried to put it back in place. And yeah, it was, it was done. So anyway. So you have to influence yourself, to have the ability to influence yourself with a set of tools to be able to move forward. I'll make an entire video on tools that you can use to shift the influence on yourself and others. And I'll give you two quick examples right now. Everything is controlled by pain and pleasure. Pain of doing something or, or not doing something or pleasure of doing something, okay? or not doing something. So that's really the big ones, but I'll give you some more practical tools later. But can you influence yourself to get things done? Like for example, if you say you're gonna wake up at a certain time, do you get up or do you hit the snooze button? When you tell someone you're gonna have something done by a certain time in a certain way, do you actually do it that way and get it done on time, if not earlier? See, you have to be able to influence yourself. A leader, a good leader, is someone that can influence himself first and foremost. If you cannot be able to lead yourself first, then you're not gonna be able to lead other people. And if you have a company or you're looking to create financial freedom, and we don't do that alone, we always have help. If you can't influence yourself, it's gonna be really hard to influence others, okay? So that's the first one. Number two is, can you influence one other person? to the level in which you can influence yourself. If you can be able to influence others to be able to get them to do what they need to do, and I'm not saying we're forcefully doing this, right? None of this is about force, but this is to the level where you're able to show them, hey, this is what I've done and here's how I can help you, right? This is a great level for a lot of people to get at. And even if you don't go any further, you could create financial freedom just by conquering level two and helping influence people to get done what they need to get done. When you do that, you can become a great parent, a great friend, a great mentor, a great boss, employer, whatever that is for you. But you gotta be able to help people do that. One of the greatest things that you can do is by building rapport and understanding where are these people coming from? What is their, what motivates them? Right? If you don't know what influences someone, it's really hard to influence them. See, it's easy with yourself because you know what motivates you, whether it's money, freedom, time, whatever that is, you can leverage yourself on that but and influence yourself. But when it comes to other people, you have to understand how are they wired? What are you able to do to help influence them to get the job done? When you can do this and build that rapport with them and influence them, all of a sudden, you're gonna see productivity go through the roof and you're gonna start seeing financial freedom accelerate at a rapid rate. And really, you can take one or two people to help because your influence, your leadership, to start getting to that seven, eight figure mark and beyond. All right, number three is, can you influence 
groups of people simultaneously, right? Like a group of people. Do you have that ability, right? That might be a great teacher, a manager, right? You might even be a motivational speaker, although in the context of financial freedom, you're probably not a motivational speaker, but you have the ability like a motivational speaker to be able to influence a group. Now, this is extremely powerful because if you can influence a group of people, you're gonna to start to see financial freedom accelerate rapidly. And again, I know that you're not gonna be able to go around each person and understand them like in level two to be able to influence them under that report. So you gotta be able to find a common mission, common value. Right? You gotta be able to build the rapport with that crowd, even if you're meeting them for the first time. There's multiple ways to do that. They're there for a certain reason or a purpose, but when you can tap into that mission or the values of an organization or whatever is important to them, you're gonna be able to influence them a lot faster, okay? Now, look, when it comes to influencing one person, that can be really easy, right? Like you know them, you can spend time building rapport with them, but a good leader takes time to understand them and they do the work with them. I remember when I was in boot camp, what happened was my drill instructor, who was world, the world's most deadliest tanker two years in a row, he always said a good leader will get in the trenches with his team. And I totally agree with that until there's a point in time where you have to get out and start working on the business versus in the business. And so that leadership quality served him so well in the Marine Corps and in his occupation within the military, right? But it doesn't always serve us for the long haul in business. There's gotta be a time where you pull out and you allow that individual that you're influencing to take over and step up and have their own leadership because you might birth them to being in a position of level three where they now have a group of people working underneath of them and that they're leading and they can also learn how to influence a group. But it all starts with you. You gotta start that and be that example first and foremost, and then you can build people up and bring them up. All right, number four is can you influence people, a group of people, over time without you even being there? Right? Like, I think about people that I highly respect, that I've worked with in my life, and I remember there was mentors that you know, they poured into me and they were such great leaders that when I was in charge or I was leading or maybe some other people or someone, I wanted to do what they needed me to do. And they, the way they showed up inspired me to do what I needed to do even when they weren't even there. And ultimately, if you're looking to build an organization or a business that's gonna have more than one person, a group of people or more, maybe even thousands of employees or tens of thousands of employees, you gotta understand, can you influence people without being there? I think Sir Richard Branson does this amazing job with his team and every team that he has within his companies because they always want to do what they need to do, but he makes it fun and he makes it playful. See, being a good leader doesn't mean it's like my way or the highway. It's about being the example, bringing fun, but also getting the mission done that we need to do. And so as a leader, you got to understand, can you change your state? Can you influence yourself when you don't feel like it or need to do something to actually doing it? If you can conquer that, you're on the path to become an extraordinary leader because once you know, then you can help someone else do that. And when you can teach them to be able to follow through, and even though there's a lot more qualities to leadership, I just wanna share the basic levels here with you. When you can help them change how they feel so that they can execute and be able to lead, then lead themselves, then that's the beginning of a growth process where they can start to lead groups and then ultimately be able to influence groups without being there, right? Think about it, like who are some really good examples of that? I think Richard Branson is, Jesus, Gandhi, right? Like there's so many great examples of people who have reached that fourth level of leadership where people want to follow and they're influenced even when they're not even there, for a lot of them, even being dead. Right? I think about how Jesus has made an impact in my life and how I work and walk in obedience to him as best as I can. No one's perfect, I make mistakes, right? But I, you know, Jesus has been dead for thousands of years, right? 
And I still, he, I'm still influenced by his words and his behavior and the truth of God. So anyway, with that being said, that's a great example of level four leadership. You gotta stop and look at, where am I? And even if you're on that first level and you gotta work at getting better and changing how you feel so that you can be able to execute and move forward because a good leader knows how to follow through. A good leader knows how to build rapport. A good leader knows how to influence others. And we'll bring so many more videos with skills and depth with this and even bring people on and interview them for the Millionaire Series who are really good at it and talk about how do you do it. But I will leave you with this. I got an opportunity in one of my masterminds to have Jeff Hoffman, the owner of Priceline, and he spoke on stage. And one of the biggest things that I learned from him was, he said he would sit down with all of his employees and really get to know all of them and figure out what influenced them. And then he would have a picture and he would put it on, have them put it on their desk or on their uh, cubicle area. And what happened was, that was our motivation for working that day. He was actually at a level four leadership, even though he wasn't there every day with them, but he gave them something to remember, and that was his way of influencing at a level four leadership. And it became so powerful because they kept growing year over year, quarter after quarter, and that's what great leadership does. And as you start to grow in a company, or you start to grow your business on the path to financial freedom, you're gonna need people. You're gonna need these skills to be able to influence other people to get the things done that need to get done. I'm telling you, when you can start to do that, you're gonna start seeing productivity increase. That's why companies pay hundreds of thousand dollars a year for co people like myself and my team to come into their organizations so that they can increase their performance because they know ultimately they're going to increase profitability for the most part, right? We can't guarantee, but they do understand if they have that formula marketing and all that, they're gonna figure it out and they're gonna have a great profitable year each and every single year. With that, I wanna know what level of leadership are you at? Put it in the comments below. I would love to know. No shame in your game because here's the deal. We all gotta start somewhere. And if you're struggling to go from one level to the next, let me know if I should make a video on that. And how do you go from level two to level three or level three to level four, or even level one to level two? Because they all require different strategies. But the biggest thing is you have to be the example first. No one wants a dictator. Right? We want a leader, someone that leads with a passion and empathy and understanding, but also knows how to influence you. And so there's certain skills that you wanna develop on this path of becoming a leader. I always like to say, I know I'm a leader, but I wanna make sure I'm being an example. I'm always making sure I'm working on level one first and foremost. And that's a daily practice for me. Right? Can I influence myself to go to the gym? Can I influence myself to make the videos? Can I influence myself to study? Can I influence myself to be a good husband and father? It's all about keeping the foundation solid. So with that being said, I hope you guys found value. Make sure you comment below. What are your thoughts? Give it a thumbs up and most importantly, subscribe, please. Pass this along, share it to other people who need this in their organization because sometimes we think a leader is just someone who's at the top and that's not true. A leader can be at any level from top to bottom, okay? So with that, thanks for watching guys. My name's Joe Moffat with Master Life by Design. Have a great one, see ya.